Franklin's Christmas Gift by Paulette Borgoy and illustrated by Brenda Clark. Franklin is a trademark of Kids Can Press. It's copyright by Context X. Huh? And Brenda Clark. And it's published by Scholastic Inc. Franklin loved Christmas. He could name all of Santa's reindeer. This one's Randolph. This one's Mortimer. And this one's Dingus Claus. This one's Lord St. Gringus, Artarius, Francois, Ojingleheimer, Schmidt, McButt, Master the Twelfth. And that's Brett. He could tie ribbons into bows and play Silent Night on his recorder. <laughs> Music to my ears. Franklin liked to give presents and to receive them. Mostly to receive them. But this year, he couldn't decide what to give to the Christmas toy drive. Every December, the students in Mr. Owl's class donated toys for needy families. The toys could be new or carefully used. Not too rough. Jai for Jolly Cane. Who wants to get the box? <gasps> <gasps> <coughs> When Mr. Owl put out the collection box, everyone was excited. They had three days to choose the perfect gifts. Oh man, it's gonna take me three days just to crawl over to the box. Oh, the, one of the ornaments fell off the tree. That evening, Franklin dug through his toys. He picked up a shiny red car, perfect for the toy drive. I remember this, he said, wheeling it around. Vroom! Next, Franklin pulled out a stuffed elephant and held her tight. I remember this, friend. Rest in peace. I wondered where you'd gone. He cried. Nothing to cry over. Then Franklin found his best green marble. What makes it the best green marble? Is it the most expensive? Is it your favorite? What makes it better than my green marble? I like my green marble. It had been missing for weeks. Well, you can't be that attached to it. Fantastic! He shouted. I wish I got that excited finding marbles. Franklin loved his marbles. He had won every marble in his collection, and each one was beautiful. Franklin picked through the rest of the toys. Yeah, who cares? The marble was the most important thing. He decided to keep everything but a rusty truck with a missing wheel. Good job! So generous. Yeah, yeah, this looks good. Kids will love to play with this junk. Hey, Dad! Oh, jeez! Oh. Franklin asked his father to help him fix the truck. Well, at least you're gonna fix it. We can try, said his father. But it won't look new or even gently used. It's all I have. Everything else is too special to give away. I'd like you to think about that, said Franklin's father. Christmas is a time to be generous. Are you saying I gotta get rid of my marble? Your what? Ah! <laughs> Bear had too much coffee. Shouldn't you be hibernating? The next day at school, Franklin asked his friends what they were giving. I'm giving this box. I'm giving this box. Yeah, it's a box, but it's a ball. Oh. I don't have a box to give. Beaver was donating her book of questions and answers. It's like a book of spoilers. I already know the answers. She boasted. I'm giving a puzzle, said Bear. I only did it once. <laughs> Franklin frowned. I'm giving a truck, I think. Way to sell it, Franklin. He had two days left to decide. No, he only has like four minutes. <laughs> but Franklin was too busy to think about the toy drive. He played the recorder in the school concert, made a card for Mr. Owl, and wrote a holiday story. I don't know how to draw owls, so I drew this deer. I'll pick a toy after school. He promised himself. You better come through with that, Franklin. Oh, oh for me. Ah, you selfish brat. Oh, Goose. What happened to Goose? When Franklin got home, there was a gift for him under the tree. It was from Great Aunt Harriet. Franklin was so excited that he forgot all about choosing a gift for the toy drive. It's for me. Don't touch the toy. You can't stop me. Your hands are glued. Why the heck are all the candles lit on the tree? You're going to start a fire. Both clocks tell a different time. What time is it? It's a box. I love it. 
You gotta open it, Franklin. Look at all those Baymaxes. Franklin squeezed the present and shook it. It was a puppy. No peeking. <laughs> <laughs> Laughed his mother. Do you know what it is? Asked Franklin eagerly. Look at that face. It's an eagerly face. You should have been named eagerly. What a good name for you. It must be something special. His mother smiled. Great Aunt Harriet always gives presents that mean something to you and to her. It's something you can use, but she can use too. Like last year, said Franklin. Last year, she got him a toilet. Great Aunt Harriet knew that he loved to put on plays, and she gave him two puppets that had been hers when she was little. She didn't need them anymore. She wanted to get rid of her junk, just like you do, Franklin. It was one of Franklin's best presents ever. The puppets started slapping each other. <laughs> the next day at school, the collection box was brimming. Look at it, Brim. The heck is that? You've all been very generous, said Mr. Owl. Do you know that your gift might be the only one somebody receives this holiday? <laughs> Franklin gulped. <laughs> He'd never thought of that. He had to bring a present tomorrow. You're the only one that didn't bring a present? The heck, Franklin. The rabbit's coming out the closet. No, skunk, don't. Eat that. Franklin raced home after school and he ran face first into the door. <laughs> he forgot to open it. He went inside and looked through his toys again. Somebody else might love Elephant, but she was worn from so much hugging and Franklin wasn't sure that the red car went fast enough. Franklin was upset. <sighs> he looked at two toys and became depressed. Don't give up. At first, all of his toys had seemed too special to give away. Now, nothing seemed special enough. From one extreme to the other, nothing was just right, Goldilocks. I'll give him my Kleenex. Franklin played with his puppets and thought about how great Aunt Harriet chose her gifts. The best presents are special to give and to receive. He whispered. Then, Franklin saw his marble collection and he knew that the marbles were special enough for the toy drive. Franklin polished them and put them into a soft purple bag. He wrapped the present and made a gift tag that read, These are lucky marbles. Be careful! Merry Christmas. The next morning, Franklin put his present on top of the collection box. I win! Then Franklin and his friends hauled the box to the big tree at the town hall. Another tree full of candles. What are you people gonna learn? They placed each present under the tree. Franklin knew he would miss his marble collection. Still, he didn't feel at all sad. Instead, he felt good all over. This feels good, and this feels good, and this feels good. Bear brought in three presents. Overachiever. On Christmas Eve, Great Aunt Harriet came to visit and Franklin was allowed to open her present. My fingers don't work as well as they did. Why don't you go ahead and open that for me? He ripped off the paper. <laughs> it's perfect, said Franklin. Thank you. Great Aunt Harriet beamed. She was a robot in disguise. She had made a stage for Franklin's puppet shows. I knew there was a catch. Now entertain me. Now open yours. Franklin insisted. Oh, looks like he just farted. Great Aunt Harriet unwrapped her gift slowly and carefully. Uh, just hurry up and open it. Inside was a play written by Franklin and dedicated to her. Oh, I was kind of hoping for something I could take home with me. Oh, well, these glasses are made from honeycombs. This is my best Christmas present ever, said Great Aunt Harriet, breathing all over Franklin's face. Uh, let me smell you so I know who you are. Franklin got that good all over feeling one more time. Ah, jeez, your breath smells. Thanks for reading my book. Ah. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. In other words, hit the thumbs up. That's the like. 
And if you want to see more of our videos, go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell. It'll tell you when more of our videos come out. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next reading.